Yes. Tell me about yourself. So, hi, I am Gunakar. Good afternoon, sir. I am Gunakar Reddy. Uh, I come from AP. Uh, current, uh, currently, I, I am doing course in VQ. I completed BE Mechanical as a mainstream in 2022 with the aggregation to 80 percentage and I completed uh, intermediate in Sri Gayatri Junior College and I did my schooling in Jilla Treja Prasad on the part Sala JHS. I have a good communication skills and my hobbies are in playing cricket and watching movies. Okay. Okay. So how much uh, how much you rate uh, yourself out of 10 in core Java? Uh, I rated a uh, as a fresher, I don't know uh, all things, but I rated as 7.5 to Okay. Can you tell me what is the difference between abstraction and uh, encapsulation? Yes, sir. Abstraction means uh, hiding. Uh, encapsulation means uh, wrapping the data into a single unit, which means class. When we perform abstraction, there is a call, keyword called private. Mm -hmm. By using private, we can abstract the data abstraction also in two ways uh, by using abstract keyword and interface uh, by using uh, abstract class we can add achieve 100% abstraction and by using interfaces we can achieve 100% of abstraction okay so what interface consists of interface uh, it consists of only abstract methods uh, can i can't i write uh, a definition in the interface Definition. Uh -huh. it, it interface means it is a service provider, uh, intermediate service provider and end user. Okay. But I want to write a method definition in the interface. Can I write or not? So we can write by using static. By using? Static uh, keyword. Static uh, after can Java. You write, can you write one example? A interface which is having a method definition. Mm -hmm. Okay. For example, uh, if I remove the static keyword, uh, it becomes a default. Uh, no, sir. Uh, when we remove static, it abstract. Mm. Uh, so we cannot write. We cannot write. Uh, we can write, but uh, the definition we cannot write. We, uh, in interface, it consists of only without, a without specifying static. I want to write the definition. Uh, no, sir. Okay. I want to write a method definition in the interface without using static. And by using default, we can write default okay. keyword. How? Okay. Can you tell me what is the difference between upcasting and downcasting? So it is a uh, object level type casting. Uh, upcasting means uh, con creating the object of subclass. And it's storing into super class reference is known as upcasting uh, without downcasting. Right, right. One example. Say again. Upcasting, mm, creating the object of subclass and it's reference storing into super class. Write it. The statement which we are saying. Statement one. No, write the example. Yes, write an example for upcasting. Okay. If I write b, b1 equals to new a, yes, sir. write it, new b, b1 equals to new a, new a, no sir, why, because uh, in, in interfa uh, inheritance, uh, superclass is a, which is holds uh, every, uh, all subclass details, so in that case, superclass is a yeah. superclass holds the subclass details. Yes. I mean that reference. Mm -hmm. uh, in that case, will it superclass holds the subclass details or subclass reference. holds the superclass reference? Superclass reference. Okay, is it a reason? It is after all a child, right? The child will extend the properties from a, right? Yes, sir. Then why can't you write it? Because it don't know what the type of A. Mm -hmm. But it is extending. This B is it, extending. It gets property. all properties from A, but it not. Mm. Okay. Can you write a class which has to represent a blueprint? Mm. Or just write a class. Or you should say that yes, this is a blueprint. 
write a class in such a way now you have to represent that this is a blueprint class is a blueprint, blueprint right? Ah, write a blueprint for, which purpose? for whatever it may be whether you are employee or student or product or customer or order or order item anything fine but uh, just write a class which has to represent the blueprint so <clears throat> what is that i'm creating a class for student okay uh, it is a blueprint it means we can create number of students uh, student okay. s1 is equal to some okay what is this line of code it is constructor okay so you are expecting three values for the constructor yes sir for example if i if i want to supply only id and age i don't know what is the name okay then See, i know you are id over, overload the constructor mm, so then it gets for example, default value now. okay default uh, so you want to overload the overload constructor you want to write for example there are 10 classes 10 attributes are there in the class so how many overloaded methods you want to write Can how would you know that uh, how you are going to identify that which parameter I will supply? You see, for with the 10 parameters, you will create a constructor, with the 9 parameters, you will create a constructor, with 8 parameters, you will create a constructor. Will you, will you write it like that? Overloaded methods, yes. I have 10 variables now. So, how many overloaded methods will you write? So, then we do one thing, hmm. then create constructor, empty constructor, sir. Okay. Uh, then when we create object uh, by using in, in, how okay, to pass the parameters the values which I am supplying from the front set, end by using settles and getters ah. using settles okay. and getters can write no so tell me tell me dynamic method dispatch then method dispatch right. okay tell me what is the I heard that uh, there is a problem in Java that is diamond problem. Mm, yes. When we create object for child class, mm. so for support a child class uh, having two parent classes uh, A and B. When we create a object for child class, I mean C. Uh, is it possible to create a two parent classes? In Java, it is not possible. Java seven, it is possible. No, sir. Uh, in Java, it is not by using class. By using interface, it is possible. Okay. Uh, when we create How a, many ways sir, I can achieve garbage collection? Do you have idea about garbage yes, collection? Yes, how many uh, ways I can achieve? What is that? Garbage collection? Uh, it uh, calls when system is slow, it uh, collects the anonymous object, values, uh, objects. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, you are, are you familiar with advanced Java also? Spring Boot, Hibernate, JDBC servlets. No, sir, from JDBC servlets. Up to JDBC uh, servlets, okay. Tell me uh, JDBC drivers. JDBC hmm. drivers. Uh, driver is a software. How many types of drivers are there? Only I think, one driver. Only one driver, okay. What is that? Com.mysql.cj.jdbc. Okay. Driver. Is it an example or com.mysql? Yeah, driver. Are you telling an example or syntax? Okay, like which type of, uh, I mean, where you are supposed to write that line, com.mysql. something? URL, when, when we call get connection. Where to write in the program? Huh? Where should I write in the program? Uh, in string. Write uh, it, write it. Can you tell me what is the life cycle of a servlet? Initialization, uh, execution, and uh, destroy. Mm. What is the difference between servlet context and configuration? It's a servlet context. It, it returns the context uh, interf object of uh, context interface. Mm. Servlet config. It returns the object of. What is the purpose context. of it? Why context? Why uh, configuration? Okay, it returns configuration and context. What is the purpose it is returning? Purpose. I have. Okay. It's uh, getting three months. Okay, Guna. Right. I'm done with it. So I asked you abstraction, encapsulation, 
access modifiers and the uh, upcasting and downcasting JDBC getter setters and the uh, interfaces dynamic method dispatch garbage collection drivers satellite life cycle okay still uh, needs to be do so much research